are some fragrances that at this point are just so overplayed that they are extremely basic and you're gonna fade away in the crowd if you wear them so it's best to stay away from these basic fragrances as mass appealing and crowd pleasing as they may be they are very frankly just plain boring and their day in the limelight is far gone and we don't need to see them again so I'm just letting you guys know right now if you're easily offended and I'm gonna mention some fragrances that you may like then definitely click on out of this video and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings I'm just telling you guys how not to smell basic so look if you if you want to smell basic then just smell basic I smell basic sometimes too there is nothing wrong with that but if your goal is specifically to not smell basic then stay away from these five fragrances. And instead, what I'm gonna tell you guys is which ones to go for. So I'm gonna give you a nay, and then I'm gonna give you a yay. So this is constructive criticism here, okay? So here we go. The very first fragrance that you guys need to stay away from if you don't wanna smell basic. And I have some of these. So guys, I have some of these. Marc Jacobs Daisy. I have the special edition bottle. I got it for a good price. I'm gonna be giving it to my sister. But this is just a super basic floral, as basic as they come. As basic as a daisy. You're gonna smell fresh as a daisy and you're gonna smell as boring as a daisy and pretty. You smell pretty, but you're gonna smell real boring. The thing with this fragrance though, it does have a little bit of a bitter green note. So even though it's a very soft, musky floral, it does have a little bit of a green bitter note in the beginning that smells like a stem leaf, which I don't enjoy. So if you really do enjoy this type of scent profile, I would recommend that you go for Chanel Chance Au Tendre. That one is more elevated, refined, and elegant. Very, very similar scent profile to Marc Jacobs Daisy, but a little bit more refined and classy. So you won't smell quite as boring. You'll just smell pleasant and fresh. And I really do like Chance Au Tendre. I will actually be adding it to my collection, but I will be letting this go because it is super boring with a big capital B. A very similar one along those lines as well that you need to stay away from is Versace Yellow Diamond. It is actually a lot worse than Daisy because it smells much cheaper. Daisy at least doesn't smell so cheap. Yellow Diamond is just completely obsolete and nobody needs to own it. And again, if you like that sort of scent, then honestly go for Daisy instead. That will already be an upgrade. But really go for Chanel Chance Au Tendre if you like that sort of scent profile. That one, for those of you that don't know, is as well a very soft floral. It has mimosa, it has pear. It honestly smells a little bit like an air freshener. It's, it's a little cheap. It's a little cheap, just don't buy it. And the other one from that same I guess, group of the crystal or diamond group from Versace is Versace Bright Crystal. Versace Bright Crystal is the little pink bottle. The bottle is very cute, but the scent is like an aquatic -y, floral fresh. It has pomegranate, it has lotus. It's um, like, it's just something like, it's not quite there. It's a little bit shampoo-y, fresh, real, real boring. So if you like that sort of like shampoo-y, aquatic -y, fresh, like, peony scent, I would recommend Gucci Envy Me. I do have a bottle of Gucci Envy Me and this one is a fragrance that I used to wear in my teens. I still really enjoy it. It's quite similar to Bright Crystal from Versace, but it smells a lot better. It has more of a strong peony note. It's a lot more complex. It even has tobacco in there. It has like apricot, so many more complex notes. It's a lot more refined. It's still a really nice, fresh, kind of like shampoo y, peony, aquatic y scent, but way, way better. So if you like that scent, go for this, forego the Bright Crystal. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save the most basic for last. This is what I'm gonna do. So right now we are on number three and it is the original Chloe. The original Chloe is quite boring. It's a pretty rose scent. It has lychee, a very strong lychee note that I find like almost too overpowering. It's, look, it's nice, but it's like, you smelled it in every room, in every elevator, in every office, in every meeting. It's just, it's done. It's gone. It's a little outdated at this point. It's quite boring. 
it's like it's trying too hard so like it's it's trying too hard to stay relevant but it's not relevant anymore so chloe i'm sorry it's goodbye to chloe but the chloe absolute is way better so let's say goodbye to the original chloe and let's move on to the chloe absolute and in case you guys hadn't noticed this bottle is actually almost empty it's just super old and i've had it for a long time it's still good the fragrance is actually still like kicking it's still not gone off but i just we're over it okay we're over chloe chloe absolute is better on all levels it is just much more pleasant it's much more modern it's stronger it's better it's go for the absolute so chloe goodbye the next one that's a pleasant one but already very very basic is dior j'adore Dior J'adore is a really pleasant floral fragrance. It's a mom smell. It's a very comforting, soft mom smell. It's still one of the best selling fragrances in the world to this day. Still very popular in Europe, still very popular amongst like Russian people, but it is boring. It is objectively boring. So let's, let's move away from J'adore. Let's move away from the comfort zone and let's go for the new one, which is J'adore or Le Parfum Infinisme. This one came out. It's a little bit more rich, bold, striking, very um, wealthy smelling. So it doesn't smell as much like the original J'adore and it's quite a different take. It's quite a bold white floral. So I would recommend this one and it would be more of like a night out going out fragrance, less of a daytime everyday casual scent. But if you're a very bold lady, then maybe you can pull it off. But anyway, I think that the original J'adore is kind of boring and should be left behind. And let's move along to new and more interesting things. There are so many fragrances out there, you guys. We need to step out of the box. And the last one, speaking of boxes, this is the most boring of them all and the most basic. And I actually have a flanker. I refuse to buy the original Dolce Gabbana Light Blue because it is just like everybody has it. Honestly, everybody that I know has a bottle of it and I just can't anymore. I just can't go for the flanker. It's a pretty fresh citrusy fragrance. It's very likable. It's very mass appealing, but it's so boring. It is so boring. Just a freshy. It's just lemony, bamboo, kind of fresh, watery. Look, it has something interesting in it, and I guess that's why it's been so popular for so long. But look, there's so many other freshies. There's Bulgari Omnia Crystalline, which I'm sure that you would like. It also has this like bamboo-y lotus vibe about it. Very, very pretty, a little bit more shampoo-y and musky, which is really nice, really feminine. We have this one that I would totally recommend. This is Guerlain La Petite Robe Noire Eau Fraiche. This is like a little bit more nutty. It has that cherry note that's classic in the La Petite Robe Noire collection. Like there's a lot of interesting freshies is what I'm trying to tell you guys. So step outside the box of light blue and discover new cool smells and don't be boring. So let's see how many subscribers I lost after this video. Hopefully I'll gain a couple and I hope you guys enjoyed my honesty. I'm just trying to help you guys out here. Next one will be another video. Maybe I'll do uh, Don't Smell Ratchet. We'll see. It might be linked somewhere. I don't know if you guys are still with me. We'll find out. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And hopefully you guys subscribe or at least don't unsubscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.